Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, dude, I like the damage output. Damage, damage output of triple impulse is pretty good. You do overheat quite fast, but you know, you're not gonna, you don't really need to fire nonstop. You can, you know, cool down, wait for your shots to line up and then fire again. And it will, yeah, get this guy. I don't, I don't like drones, bro. Oh, beautiful shot. Oh, what's up guys, Jibra here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, we are checking out another episode of Loving the Unloved. And we're checking out the GL55 impulses, like nobody uses these anymore. So I got two builds for you guys, one with two GL55 impulses and one with three GL55 impulses. So as you guys saw, I got two types of build. This one is uh, kind of like a retcher dog, but we've got the GL55, so it's a GL55 dog. And the other one is more like a KTM style with the triple uh, grenade launcher. So um, I have four radiators on this thing, but I'm thinking now maybe I should like add a cooler or a... a Whoa, chameleon. Wow, look at that spread. It's... I'm, what the hell? I mean, I can fire for a very long time, but that spread is... Uh, no, no, I wonder if I should just use the Torero. I'm, I'm not sure if the... No, the Torero doesn't do anything against spread. So I might just use the Falcon Co-Driver because uh, it reduces weapon spread while moving. So I'm going to apply those because the other option I have is a Titland, but... And it doesn't really benefit me that much. But anyways, I'll fix this build up. I'll add a chameleon and a cooler. So that should make the build work a lot better. So this is the plan for today's video. And as always, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and leave a comment also helps out a ton. And if you do all of that stuff, it, you can see it as your good deed of the day. <laughs> so yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. All right, guys, welcome to the clean island. Let's cloak up. We have multiple Darius here. And I might just go for this one in the back. I'm not on. Oh, it's a machine gun. So that might be a little bit of a problem. We also have a header on the bridge there. Okay, we got 800 damage that quick. That was good. That was amazing. Okay, let's go around here. Nice, nice. I got cover now. 400, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it's already burning. Beautiful. That's actually. Um, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a avalanche. Yeah, there we go. Pop them, pop them, pop them. <laughs> oh, that's a wonderful. Okay, let's cloak up again. Lots of activity on the capture zone. But I think I saw... Yeah, I knew someone was behind me somewhere. It's a... Oh, it's a miner. Ooh. I think, like, he wrecked me in my video last week. Oh, there we go. He's, uh, he's trying to... Uh, okay, okay. He's trying to do, like, a, a 4v1. Can definitely try for... Oh, actually, this guy looks a little bit more easier to deal with. Oh, there, okay, now I gotta go to the capture zone. Got two points already. So, oh, flip. Oh, that hurt. That really did hurt. And now I'm heated. My chameleon's gone. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go after this guy. Yeah, I, 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 I had to go. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave him now. Just so they don't win. Okay, I'm getting self damage, but I think that's fine. It's not too much. Oh god. Oh, flip. Oh. Get off me. Get off me, bro. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, oh, those fuse. Ah, oh, oh, was the last one live. We could have won this. We could have won if we like had one extra player. But that was that was a good performance. All right, guys, we are at the fortress this time. Okay, we have an incinerator build, we have a Suraki on our team, this Droner. I think I'm gonna stick with them, see what we can do. There is a player to my right here, cloak up. Ooh. Someone help me, if he gets some nice Stillwind shots in my mouth, like where my guns are, yeah, I'm toast. Let's cool him off. Oh, the two coolers really help out a ton, oh my god. Dude, I, dude, the Harpy Cabot and the GL55 actually give some decent explosion radius, like, I'm getting some good uh, good shots and a lot of parts flying off in my in my shots land. Oh frick! Oh frick! Yeah, I think you know the GLs are not that bad. Oh, this is a dog. Uh, someone help me with this dude. There we go. He crashed. Let's get his fire. Oh, oh god, KTM build really. Oh, that's. A uh, triple Arbiter and an Aurora, Daft Punk at 13k, bro, I'm only playing 10k, that's a 3k, yeah, 3k different, that's so not fair. 
All right, guys, we are at the Rock City, and that last confrontation made no sense. How can I a double impulse build? Yeah, I do have a lot of modules, and I'm not even at 13k. How can I face a KTM build with le three legendary arbiters and an Aurora? That's just not fair, man. I thought there was like some kind of rule in Crossout where uh, it only lets you fight people to one or two k above your par score. I guess maybe I didn't. Call Oh, wait, wait, we woke up. Oh, we still got heated a little bit, but that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, maybe I I, I didn't do the math. I didn't really uh, calculate what the power score difference was, but I, it, it looked like almost 3k. But anyways, uh, let's focus on the match at hand. I'm a, I need to... Well, oh, this is, this is another Arbiter player. I know Welk. Yeah, he, he's using his Arbiter tank, and he is... 14k! He's almost... He's almost oh, dude, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. I have two guns. I only have two guns. I'm 10k. How can I play against players 4k bar score? I think maybe it's a bug. Maybe the devs don't realize what's happening to the, their matchmaking uh, matchups. But this is not... That is not cool. I'm trying to showcase a cool weapon, but I can't. I'm facing 14k builds. That's that's dumb. Yeah, no backup, dude. I got melted by quad arbiters, bro. All right, guys, welcome to the action ring. I switched builds for a little bit. Um, hopefully, we get better performance with this one. This one uses the triple uh, GL55 impulse. Also, we're using one ammo box, and we don't have. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, dude, I like the damage output. Damage damage output of triple. Impulse is pretty good. You do overheat quite fast, but you know, you're not gonna, you don't really need to fire non stop. You can, you know, cool down, wait for your shots to line up, and then fire again. And it will, yeah, get this guy. I don't, I don't like drones, bro. Oh, beautiful shot. Oh, no, I don't like headers. Either. I mean, I love headers, but I don't like people using headers. Cool. Oh, beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, machine gun builds, bro. Machine gun builds are, oh, he got another one. Oh, so machine gun builds are freaking annoying. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Machine gun builds in Clan Wars are annoying. Machine gun builds in PvP are annoying. Like, overall, machine gun builds are just dominating Crossout. Like, two years ago, it was shotgun wedges. But now it's machine guns. I mean, there's always gonna be a different... Oh, this guy's tripping. There's always gonna be a different meta. I just wish it was cannon stern, you know? Cannons are a bit unloved. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna blow up on this guy. I wish the Harpy's cabin also give a bigger explosion radius to the detonation. That would be cool. I still got MVP. Nice. All right, guys. Welcome to the Ravager's Foothold. Another thing I would like to mention. See how that last match went when, we're, when I was facing my own power score range? I got MVP. But if you have to face 14k builds using Arbiters, come on. That's not fair at all. But, uh... Wait, we got... We got Wait, uh, we have a we have a teammate here, but I don't know why he went in alone. He's like, okay, let me. We got Acer bot. We got Crazy QC. He went in. We got Acer bot here again. Look at that, dude. The triple GL is pretty pretty sweet. It's really hard. This is uh, the assembler. Oh wow, wow, it tripped the assemblers quite fast. Fifteen hundred damage. Seventeen hundred. Oh, I'm overheated. Ooh. Over you do overheat quite fast. I think I can deal with this guy alone. No, maybe not. Maybe not. He, he does. <laughs> he is using cyclones. If I got some backup, I, I can take this guy because my guns are exposed. Can't really. Here we go. Here we go. He's kind of stuck. There. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. The GLs actually strip weapons quite fast. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised it, can, it performs as well. I wasn't expecting this performance. Just need to lead my shots a little bit better and I can get a lot more damage off. We got the eye in the center here. Look at that damage. Oh my god, that's so wonderful. Over overheated. Oh, nice. All right, guys, welcome to the Fortress. So far, this build has performing um, very unexpectedly. Is that how you say it? I wasn't expecting it to perform that well. How do you say that? Like, it, it's, it's, it's performing very 
unexpected. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Oh, but you guys know what I mean. But I get why people don't want to use it. I mean, with a build like what I have right now, you know, it's it's scary because if a machine gun builds run ups to you, like your guns are gone. I already have a sparking gun because of that caucuses. Let's get Robin real quick. And the spread doesn't feel like a big issue anymore. Maybe because I have a cooler. I don't know. But when I did the introduction, the spread was so much like has very high. Sp oh, a ninja mon is back. Oh my god, I have an OCT. Oh, this, this is what I mean. He just. Oh, god dang it. It sounded. Yeah, he's using Vindicators. That, the Vindicators have a distinct uh, sound, a little bit bassy. And it's the Jelly. The Jelly is a super good player. And my guns are gone. Yep. You just. You, you, you just like. The Jelly is using. 11k build, bro. That's so dirty. On a Ermac. Oh my god. That's so dirty, dude. I'm a 10k build with purple weapons. Oh man, that's so not cool. All right, guys, welcome to the Ravager's Foothold. As you guys can see, I'm at a bit lower power score. Oh, oh fuck. We have to deal with these guys. Oh my god, Brian, rip. Okay, yeah, we're at 9k power score. I just didn't want to deal with 14k builds anymore oh wow he's flying i think the the gls they're they're amazing but at 10k par score i don't know man they feel like they're underperforming well not underperforming they they just have to deal with difficult more difficult targets all right okay i think we're i think we're fine though okay okay let's go to the center What's this guy using? I'm not sure. Shotguns. Ooh. I was confident that I could win it, and I actually won it. I can't believe it. Are Spitfires that bad now? I can't, I can't believe it. Spitfires used to be my go-to weapon. Nice. All right. Oh damn, my build is messed up. But hey, we're still rolling. We're still uh, we're still good. We still got our weapons. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, at 9k, yeah, nobody's over 10k, so this build performs actually pretty good. Let's get his rockets first. Let's get his Aurora. Oh, we didn't get anything yet. Wait, wait, wait. I just removed two, uh, one radiator and one cooler, and then we're at 9k power score, so actually works out. Nice. One player left. Come on, give me the... Ah, uh, oh, never mind. Well, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The GL55 impulses performed way better than I expected. Like, when I tested them in the test drive, they were firing slow, and the spread was all big, and I was like, oh, man, this thing is awful. But once I played it, it actually hit really hard, did a lot of damage. Double impulse works better under 10k power score, maybe 9k power score. Triple impulse works great, really amazing damage, but... The builds you're gonna have to face, the Vindicator builds, the shotguns, the KTM builds, oh, that's, I'm not about that life. If, if nobody's online that plays those builds, you're gonna have a lot of fun. But during these times, usually at night when I record, there's a lot of top dogs online, so uh, it's a little bit harder to uh, use these. But they're still pretty fun, they're still pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not sure if they're better than Threshers. I think they are, they're not. Treasures are better because they fire faster, but I don't know, man. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button for me. See you guys in the next one. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Peace out.